Hi, my name's Tom Ludd. I'm a freelance graphic designer and founder of the Designers League. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the constraints tool in Affinity Designer for Mac. Anyone who does web or app design nowadays know that they need to design with different screen sizes in mind. Affinity Designer makes this process quite a bit more streamlined with the constraints tool. Let me show you how it works now. First we're going to go to view, scroll down to studio, and then we're going to open up the constraints tool. As you can see as it says here, constraints determine how the object responds to changes made to its container. The object is this square here and the container is this outer square. You can select or deselect different parts of it. Let me show you now. So clicking on this header, you can see how I've now got the left, right and top enabled. I can enable and disable them with just a click and let me show you how this works. So, if I was to bring out this uh, header now, can you see how the header moves with the artboard as I stretch it? Note how the other things that aren't constrained stay the same. So let's move that back. I've also applied it to the logo and the navigation button but I've had to do something a bit different. I've only selected it on the left and top here and on the navigation button on the top and the right. This is to ensure that there's always the same space whatever size it is. So, what I can do now is if I select all of this Command C to copy and then Command V to paste. As you can see I've just copied the design from the iPad artboard into my iPhone sized artboard and it's kept that space uniform with my other artboard. The only thing I have to do now is tweak my header image here so it's a bit better for mobile I personally would use constraints sparingly because some things just don't work as well but you can figure that out. Let's copy the content over and that's command C to copy and command V to paste. Now with this I just need to shorten the width a bit so that it's uniform with the header text. That looks nice and all that's left is to just copy over the footer which is constrained in the same way as the header. And there you go. We just went from an iPad design to an iPhone design in fewer clicks. Thanks for watching.